Adam Small here again from My Music Masterclass, and we have another product review for you. Blackstar sent us this tiny Fly 3 charge over here, and we're gonna put it through its paces. Now, for those of you who have subscribed to our channel, and if you haven't, please subscribe. Um, or if you've watched many of our other videos, you may have noticed that we just reviewed the counterpart of this amp. We reviewed the Fly 3 bass. Anyway, this is the guitar sibling to that amplifier, and let's just do the disclaimer real quick and then we'll get on with the review. Blackstar did send us this amp for free in exchange for this video review that you're seeing right now, but they didn't coach us in any way or tell us to say anything, and we're gonna keep it unbiased as always. So, just like the Fly 3 bass that we reviewed last time, this is a 3 watt amp with a 3 inch speaker. It's equipped with two channels, one being the clean channel and one being an overdrive channel. It has a separate gain and master volume, just like many guitar amps. This amp has one knob for EQ and they call it ISF, which stands for Infinite Shape Feature. And uh, it's not gonna function like a regular EQ, meaning that you have a bass, a mid, and a treble, or something like that you can independently raise. This isn't like that, but we're gonna see how this works and what it does in a minute. As for the effects on this thing, I already mentioned the overdrive, but it also has a delay that you can adjust, and we'll see how that sounds too. As for inputs, you have a standard quarter inch input to get your guitar into this amp, and you also have a line in if you wanna connect a tablet or any other device via an eighth inch cable. And this amp is also equipped with Bluetooth, meaning that you can use your phone or tablet, for instance, and um, play some music or use an app have it connect via Bluetooth if you don't feel like using the eighth inch cable. As for your outputs, you have a headphone out slash line out on the top. And if you want more headroom or a stereo setup, you can connect Blackstar's extension speaker to make this thing six watts, just using the port in the back of this amp. And lastly, this amp is rechargeable, meaning that it has an internal battery and it can be charged via a standard USB-C cable. So, let's get to it. Let's see what this thing sounds like. All right, so as you can see, I have a Shure SM57 close micing this thing. And, uh, I didn't opt for a room mic in this video. For those of you who watch my Fly 3 bass review, I did that with a room mic only because I wanted to show uh, the viewers what the amp sounded like in a room setting. That was due to the fact that three watts on a bass amp is very low, so I wanted to show people how loud that amp was before it would break up. But because we're dealing with a guitar amp here instead of a bass amp, three watts goes a longer way. Um, it's not like you're gonna do a big gig with this amp. It's a practice amp, but it is much louder than the bass counterpart just due to how, you know, how much power you need to boost low frequencies. So let's first mess with the EQ settings. What I'm gonna do is play a simple riff um, with the EQ all the way down here, and we're gonna raise it in increments, and I'm gonna play the same exact riff. I'm not gonna talk in between, and you're gonna hear the difference between these settings. <laughs> Yeah, so I can hear what it's doing to the sound here, and I know you can hear it on the video because it's pretty obvious. In the manual, it states that it starts in USA style territory, so an amp made in the USA, and as you go to the right, it turns into UK territory, which is, you know, like a, a British style amplifier. And there's lots of different ways to describe this. It seems that the, the UK amp sound, or all the way to the right, is definitely a lot rounder. It has a lot less of like the highs and the high mids that cut. It's a more rounder sound. Um, you can hear it if we do it like this. Like let's say that I just play something like this. Now let's turn the knob all the way to the left. You can hear the polar opposites there. The uh, USA amp definitely cuts a little more. Um, it's, 
it's a whole different thing and it depends on what sound you're looking for. And obviously, as I showed you, you can blend anywhere in between. Now I wanna try out the overdrive, but the first thing I'm gonna do is not hit the overdrive switch. I'm just gonna turn the gain all the way up and see what kind of grit we can get doing that. First with the EQ all the way down in USA land. <laughs> You know, as I'm playing with this amp a little more with different settings, I'm really starting to hear what this EQ is doing. It's definitely adding some low end too and just kind of rounding the sound out um, when you get to UK mode. Anyway, let's test the overdrive now. Now let's see what the delay does. Cool, so that's kind of like a useful little slap back, maybe a little more than that. Um, let's max this thing out and see what it can do all the way on 10, meaning this is as long as it gets and this is as loud as it gets. Obviously this has to do with personal preference and you'll be able to dial your tone in depending on what you want. If you want it to be a sound that cuts through, if you want to have a sound that's rounder um, and less defined, if you want a little slapback delay, a lot of delay, some overdrive, none of it, right? So instead of just trying all these things in a vacuum, which I've been doing so far, I'm going to make a track right now to display what this amp can do. I'm in a kind of mellow mood today, so I think I'm just gonna create a vibey track, if you don't mind, because it's my decision, and I'm gonna do a vibey track, if you like it or not. I've just decided that I'm gonna use the Fly 3 bass for the bass part, too, so I'm gonna utilize that and this in the same track. I'm not gonna use any outboard gear or any effects in my software. The only effects you're gonna hear um, are what is on the amp. And I'm going to mic both up and we're not going to compress anything or do anything crazy. This is just what these amps sound like on a track. Okay, we're back. I hope you liked my vibey track. And again, there was no effects in any of that. That's just how these amps sound close mic'd in a room. Now you may have heard some meowing throughout this video, or maybe not. Maybe somehow my lavalier mic didn't pick up, but this dude kept trying to get in to the studio. And I finally let him in because, I mean, you know, he wanted to be on camera. So anyway, my thoughts on this amp are that it's cool. You're licking my hand, really? Okay. Um, it's a cool amp. The amp is fun to play with and is convenient and that checks the boxes for me. I mean this is a practice amp, it's rechargeable, 
It has uh, some cool sounds. The delay is important to me to get a little bit of a delay or a reverb in there, something like that. And it's expandable if you need more volume or you just want a stereo rig, right? So I would definitely recommend this amp to anyone looking for an ultra portable solution or something to use off grid. Um, just like with any of these tiny amps, they don't replace bigger amps. It's not like you're gonna just get this and not get a bigger amp or a bigger practice amp or things like that. These are for specific uses when you really need to be like off grid or you just want something that's so convenient that you can just put on the couch and play along with uh, without plugging anything in, tripping someone with a power cord and things like that. And for that, this does really well. And with that being said, uh, I hope you got a lot out of this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Leave a comment, uh, ask any questions, and I will try to answer them if I can. See you next time.